Hi guys, today I have a fun haul. I know that I've been a little MIA this week. I only recorded um, a video once and that was for my haul. If you didn't see it, you need to go back and see it because I got some really fun stuff. Um, I'll see if I can remember to link that video down below. But um, there was just a lot going on today, but I really wanted to get a video out. Um, I had this project that I had been working on and I really wanted to share it. And it's a tag folio, I guess you want to call it. This is the first one I made and um, I did more of a, and we're still going to do the same kind of theme with, um, I just have a lot. I have a lot of stickers that look like uh, film rolls, film tape. Um, what? <laughs> but I just thought that this was really a lot of fun. So here you have this. I made these into pockets and so we put little ones in here with little tabs and then I went in here and this is another sticker and these I this is the actual Tim Holtz film roll and then I did this and I made it into kind of like a little framed photo but you know just like a little flippy thing and then here I made the a little slide into um, like a tab and then we, here we have our papers so that we can put in so isn't that cute and then here's the back these are not pockets these you can make them into pockets if, if you want but it would be very very thin whatever you put inside but I did use if you remember I had hauled um, a bunch of these little belt buckles the, the little mini ones and I decided that I wanted to make a little belt to go around it. So this one is actually glued on and we're gonna make that today. Hopefully if it doesn't take too long, we'll make it. Um, otherwise I'll make a separate video on how I did it. But this one is glued on, this one is not. So I did this just in case we don't have time. I just don't want this video to be two hours long, but see that? And so here's this one. And again, I made these into pockets. These are just like little slides. And I did the same thing, but this one, instead of using um, the sticker, this little camera face looking sticker, I just added some of the, um, the washi tape shop. They sent me the lace um, sticker trim. And so it comes in this pack. So if you're interested in this lace uh, PET sticker, oh my gosh, you need to get them. It's in the pack. I don't know if you can get them individually, but they're beautiful. And I do have a discount code for them. So I'll make sure I, I link that as well down below. Look at how pretty that is. So I just kind of used it as a frame and then framed around this. And then we did the same thing here. And I used the same lace kind of as the backdrop for the little girls. And then this is a sticker roll too. So everything that I can link down below, I will. And then we have our little um, fun couple in the back. And so there's that. And then we just buckle this in. We could do it, well actually I did it this way. Cause I like the buckle to be on the top. And so we just add this and I added the, the holes with eyelets and the little loop to keep it intact and there it is very cool right so okay there's that intro now let's get down to the nitty-gritty i am going to tell you what um what you need we are going to be using now with the other ones i just used the regular um beige i guess cream color cardstock but I want to use my Tim Holtz um, backgrounds. Uh, I think this is the Halloween one from last year. And I mean, there's nothing spooky on it. I just like, you know, the paper. So we're going to use that. And so I'm using actually two of the same and I'm, and I got this one out and I've already cut everything down just to kind of save time. So this is going to be our main folio. And this is gonna be um, nine by six. Normally it's 10 by six. So I just cut an inch off. So it just kind of measures out better. And then um, we're going to also need two 
of the two by six, which is gonna be our little flappy, I probably shouldn't have put this together. Hold on. So that's gonna be this here. That's this. And then this is two and a half by six. Okay, and we just need one of that. And I will make sure that I um, jot down everything in the description box of all the measurements and the quantity. So again, this is two by six and you need two of these. You need two and a half by six, which is one of these. And then this is the actual cover is nine by six. So let's get started. I am going to go ahead and start scoring here. So I'm going to score at three. It's like a little piece of sticker tape here. So we're gonna score at three and at six. And that's it. Okay, so this is gonna be scored at three and six. I think I wanna keep this dark part on the inside. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just kind of score this, lay that flat, press that down. Okay, so this is gonna be our inside. And then this, which is gonna be this part, we're just gonna score at the top and that's gonna be a half an inch. Uh, let's do it this way. Just half an inch on the top. And I think, do I want it? Do I want to keep it dark? No. Yeah, we'll do the lighter. It's too, it's too dark if we do the other way. So again, just kind of creasing that down. And then these, we're going to score one third of an inch on one side. So we'll do one third, which is here. And then we're gonna do the same on the other one because they're not directional, ooh, excuse me, then it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna do it like this and get those scored. I think that's all the scoring we need. So let's set those off to the side. Let me just go ahead and, yeah, I got that one scored down. And then we'll just crease this down. so that these are ready to go. Now I did go ahead and pre-cut a few things. Because I wanted to be very um, picture-esque, <laughs> I just wanted to use a lot of these little pictures because I just like it. And because I have a bunch of this, um, it's like this whole set. And I got it from Amazon, so I'll link it down below. But it came with all of this. It has all of these pieces. And I know that when I first shared it, a lot of you did order it. I saw that um, Amazon was kind of letting me know that you guys were ordering these. So it came with all of these PET tapes. It came a lot. It came with a lot of these things and it came with um, these stickers. And so, and then it's it has this little piece of uh, little booklet. So it's a really fun set. So I'm gonna use this because I've just had it sitting there forever. So I'm gonna link that as well. Make sure I remember everything that I'm gonna link. But I went ahead and I used some of my die cuts to go ahead and pre-cut all of my little slides. And so I did use this one. And if I if I know what set it came from, I'll I'll link it down below. But to be honest, I'm I'm not sure. Um, a lot of these are like generic; they're not like a name brand or anything. And so I just kind of put them all in, you know, according to um, uh, what 
what am I trying to say? According to style, I guess, or or um, category is I put them together. Uh, so these are just a little slide. So I cut two of these. Um, these are pretty much the same. Just one has a little tab thing, but I cut two of those out, which are these. And I already cut the backing for both. So I cut these out. And then I cut two of these. And this one does have the backing for this. And so I have those already pre-cut. So I, I cut, I'm not sure which I'm gonna use, but I just wanted to let you guys know what I have already cut out. So we can go ahead and get started. Let me put this off to the side. What I am going to do is I am going to um, trim the corners so that it looks like a tag. I just like the way it looks. You don't have to. This is just something that I kind of preferred if I can find, oh, here it is. If I can find my corner punch, but this is three. three sheets and so it took a little bit of energy to do that now with my other ones I did ink all like you know just to kind of give it some type of color but with these I'm just going to ink around the edges so let me see I think I got the wrong I think it's this one so let's just quickly kind of give it a little bit it's just on the outside. The inside you can't even tell. So we're just gonna ink on the outside of this. Let me do the back part. And again, this fold, because I like the way it looks. See that? Love that. Let me do this here. Do a little bit more here and a little bit more here. And I think that's it. I wanted to keep this kind of on the darker tones because of the dark, the black on the inside. So I thought that might be fun. So let's see. What do I want to use? Oh, let me show you what I did. <laughs> I got some of the, the little men here. And these are just the regular um, Tim Holtz paper dolls. And I kind of gussied them up a little bit. <laughs> and so look, this one, I just kind of, whatever they had already is, you know, is what I just kind of um, um, made like better, like 3D. And so this one, look, it had little uh, suspenders. And so I added like little strips of suede to his <laughs> pants <laughs> and I made it, I made it look into like suspenders. And then he had a really big bow on his shirt. And so I used, I used some of my, um, what is it like the chiffon or something, the ribbon and I made a big bow. This one I just added, he had a little button here, so I added one of the Tim Holtz um, little, the little, what is it called? Brads. And then I added just a little piece of the chiffon there as kind of like his little hanky that came out. And I embossed and made his hat a little bit shiny, you see that? And then I did add a little bit of um, that embossing sparkle thing for his tie. Here, I did the same with his hat and his shoes. I embossed like the clear, so it gave it like a little bit of a shine. And then I added this little brad here on his, um, a button for his collar. And then I added the little boutonniere here with the little rose. And then I added this little piece of chain for his, his pocket watch. <laughs> and then this one, again, with the shoes, I just did the glaze just to kind of give it a little bit of a shine. And then I did make him his suspenders, so you can see on the back. And then I added little the little brads for his buttons. 
and then I made his little <laughs> his little tie. So I just thought that it might be fun to use one of them to put on here. But of course he needs to sit on something unless I do this guy. I really like maybe putting a strip of maybe some of this. That might be cool because I think this actually has like flowers on it. And so let's see, can I tell if it's upside down or not? I think it goes this way. So we can put this and have him stand like right here. That might be really cool actually. Let's do that. So we're gonna, oh, is it this way? Yep, it's this way. See again, these are these are film strip stickers. And so these are gonna be a lot of fun. Let me, hopefully I can put this on straight. Uh, well, here goes nothing. And then I'm going to use my scissors to just trim that part off. So let's open this up a little bit. trying not to trim my paper and do the same thing on this side okay and then I can just add him here Maybe add him a little bit higher up because I do need to keep in mind of the little belt buckle that we're going to use. Where did I put it? I took it off with this one and now I can't find it. Where did I? Oh, here it is. Duh. So I can put this maybe right under his little. Okay. Yeah, but I think I want him to be standing on something. So let's do maybe another piece right here and have him kind of like standing on it. That might be cool. So let's do that. I'm just going to cut this. It's just that the... Um, that plastic backing it gets stuck to my fingers <clears throat> excuse me I had the worst cough attack earlier and I don't know what there was something in my throat that just did not want to give up <laughs> it was so weird my eyes even turned red but yeah I like the way this looks simple but very cool right so let me just make sure that this is not going to show so let's, I think we're going to keep it, instead of a diamond, we'll just keep it into a square. But I'm going to press down pretty hard and make sure that it's nice and flat on the back. Now I'm going to get my art glitter glue. And do this. Come on. And put him, I'm trying to get him without getting glue all over me. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put him right here. Stand him right there. Press down just for a second. Make sure that that brad in the back is going to get really well. I actually decorated these gentlemen a while ago, so now I don't remember what I did. If it's just glue, I think it's just glue that I glued it on the little chain. But anyway, okay, so there's that. Let's go ahead and get started on the inside, which probably we should have done first, 
but we're gonna roll with it here. I am going to corner around the bottom because I just like the way that looks. Let's do just the medium rounding. And I am going to kind of grunge this up just a tiny bit. Again, just on the outside, we don't have to worry about the inside part because it's already dark in there, so it's fine. Let me, maybe, let's see. No, I don't need to. Just making sure I don't need to do anything with the other. Let me do this here. Put that here. And then we can figure out what we want to put. Oh no, what am I doing? We have to cut out a, a square. I almost forgot. Let me get my my this I want it to be I want it to be kind of like a, a quarter of an inch so I'm going to try and even this out to where it's kind of like halfway and I'm gonna have to do it on this side now it's not gonna be perfect but it's okay but I am going to just kind of use my pencil here. Let me do this side as well. It's just easier for me to do it from this angle. Again, just lining it up. And then I'm gonna do maybe an inch from the bottom. So we'll do it, I think it is, or an inch and a half. Let's do an inch and a half better. So actually, I could probably, let me go ahead and cut because it's already ready. So let's cut. Okay, and then we're gonna do an inch and a half from the top. So we'll do that too. So I already know where the lines are. Making sure you keep everything in its place. Now I can do this and do it from here to here. Oops. I pass it a little bit it's okay not a big deal we can still work with it let me put this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and then again from here down to there now you can also use your um, what is it called the frame the we are memory keepers what I showed last time the frame punch board you can use that too but today we're just going to do it this way the easy peasy way just getting rid of those lines and then I am going to get out a piece of my um, acetate and just mark it. So let's move this out of the way for a second. I am going to be using my little marker pen here so that I can mark where I want to cut because I do want it to be maybe about here. So we could cut here, here, and here. So all I'm going to do is kind of cut around it so that I can put it in my in my little mini paper trimmer. It's just easier. Okay, so I don't need that. Let me get my my little mini paper trimmer. So let's trim this side. And then do this side. And then do this side.
Okay. Now we can glue this on the inside here. So let's just glue that down. I'm just gonna do a strip, a little line of glue on all four corners. On the sides, I mean. And then we'll go ahead and put this down. Pressing that down. Very cool. Okay. Now we can go ahead and put this on. Now I like to put this on before I decorate underneath it because it's not covering that whole panel. And so by doing this first, I kind of know where, what kind of section I have to work with. And so let me get this kind of straight here. Pressing that down. Again, if this were flat, then it would have been, it wouldn't be a big deal, but because I have pieces on here, it's kind of hard. So I, I really should have waited. So a little tip of the day. Um, let's see, what do we want to put on the inside? What should we do? Should we put one of our, our little guys in here? The only problem is that his feet are gonna hang. So he's not good. Let's see him. Same problem. So we might, we might be able to do him, but it's gonna be a little bulky. So let's see if we can find another little person instead. How about, how about this gentleman? Wait, he's not the same one, is he? No. Do we want another guy with a top hat or should we do somebody different? He's kind of cute, right? Let's see what else. Oh, this little guy. He's cute, isn't he? But what could we put behind him? Let's see what I have. Mm. Do I wanna put more of that? Let's see. Maybe if I have kind of like a, like a background kind of thing, right? Let's see, maybe in palette. I have like a little kind of a background that we can put on him, but I still wanted it to be like not very colorful. I wanted it to be dark. Not like dark spooky, but you know, the colors. So let's see. Do I have anything in here? Uh, let's see. I don't know. I feel like that's too. Do we like that or should we keep it with the. But I feel like he's kind of leaning on something. Okay, Maggie, don't take too much time with this because we've got a lot to do. So let's kind of keep it going here. Let's see what else. Um, 
No. Let's try the Expedition or I know. We'll have him leaning on one of these dials. Let's get a darker one. Maybe this one. Or maybe this one. He can kind of be leaning against this dial. Which way does this go? Like that. But it needs to be a little bit further down. That's actually kind of cute, right? Like he's leaning on this. I can actually put him first. I like that. Just to kind of have him leaning. So let's do that. Let's see how much of him I can lean on here. I like that I can kind of position him to see where exactly I want him to be. Yeah, but I like that. Okay. Now, should we put maybe, um, we'll put this behind him. So it's going to kind of look like it's a bigger roll of film. Is this where it ends? Why am I having difficulties? Yeah, here it is. I can put this maybe up to here. So let's measure out maybe two or three pieces. Maybe three. We'll just kind of layer them. Last one. I'm thinking I got this film from Timu. I think that's where I got this one from. Well, let's see. Now it's time to kind of position them and see how we're going to do this. So I can put this like right here and then we can put another one right on top and another one right on top. Let's just do that. Oh no, darn it. You can see how, I don't know if I can salvage this, how inexpensive it is because it just ripped off gotta be careful okay let's see if I can salvage this I try to rip it off way too fast so let's put this here all right not bad yeah lucky save right okay softly And then we'll put this one right here. And then this one softly. Very satisfying though, isn't it? Um, about right here. Whoops, oops, 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 oops. Not yet, not yet. Come on. Eek. Okay, let's do it this way. Make sure that I have it 
lined up where I need it. Let's do it like this. And then we can put him right here. So when it opens, it just looks like a big film roll. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stand him right at the edge of that of where the strips end. Just put in a little bit at the edges and on his feet. And then we can put him right here. Right in the center. Very cute. Just straightening him out. Okay, I'm going to get a couple of my little invisible Velcro dots so that I can keep that part closed. So I'm just going to put them together. And because the fuzzy side is white and the bottom that's a little bit more rough is um, clear, then you wanna put the clear one wherever it's gonna show more. So I'm gonna put that down here. So I'm gonna make sure that the, the white fuzzy part is on here and then the clear one is on the bottom. See, can't even see it. It's right here. Not bad, right? And I could put a little number strip or something there, but we'll deal with that later. Okay, now this one, we're gonna go like this. Uh, let's do it. Just this way. So we're gonna do this like this. But I'm going to corner these. Remember, if you're gonna corner them, you gotta corner them where they're folded. Because that's the edges here. So let's just ink these up. When I thought about making these, I really didn't think about it. It just kind of happened. I just wanted to make something where I can make the buckle belt. <laughs> I didn't care what it was, but I just thought that this was cute. This is a cute idea. So when I thought about this, I thought it might be fun since we haven't done a folio in a minute. So this might be a fun little project. So we have our fold and you want to put it a little bit away from your fold. You don't want it to be right on it because and then it's gonna be harder for you to open. So about here I think is okay. And then this one is going to go right. Now, I think it's easier. I didn't do it on the other side, but I think it's easier if you kind of, see? If you ink where you scored, then it's going to be easier for you to see where exactly you need to put um, your panel. Let me leave that laying down because then it's, easier for the glue to come out. All right. See, I like that you know that you got it right where you need it. This one, it came out just a tiny bit, so I'm gonna trim the bottom. Just the tiniest bit. Yeah. 
perfect. Okay, just ink this. And then they're gonna open this way. Look how cool that looks. You can't even really see the seams, can you? So it's gonna go like this, and this is where we're gonna add our little closure. So make sure you keep your Velcro dots out if that's how you wanna do it. But let's first put in our little um, papers. I'm just gonna grab some from my little notepad here. One, two, three, four. Wait, do I have some already cut? I do. I thought I did. This one, I think, oh, it's perfect. So this is, in case you wanna know, two and three quarters by five and three quarters. Let's corner round the bottom here and I think we are going to trim the top just a tiny bit I think maybe right at the line so that's going to take away from the length of it because we want it to be a little bit under now if you decide not to make it a tab a tag shape then you don't have to worry about that part of it. I do have a piece that was left over of my of my um, I think my do I want to put it like this? Or should we put it this way? No, too many, right? So let's just do this one. This is an inch and so we're just going to mark it where I need to cut it. So let's just mark it right at the edge here. So like that, I know nothing's gonna stick out. And then we are going to, I think I'm gonna score it. It's just easier for me. Let me close that off. Um, what did I do with my with my little score tool. Oh, here it is. So this is one inch, so we're just gonna score it half an inch. And let me crease this down. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to staple this, just the papers, just two staples, and to, um, whoops, sorry, just to kind of close those down or press those down a little bit more, I'm going to use my little pliers to kind of press those down more so that it's a little bit more flat and we're not gonna be having to worry about extra bulk. Come on. Perfect. There. And all we have to do now is just glue this little cover here for the top of our little notepad. Again, not putting it all the way up to the fold. And we're gonna slide this over just a tiny bit. Okay, now we can put this here, making sure that it still closes and the 
let's go ahead and put this putting this here making sure that we can still close it pressing that down and that part is ready very cool right now let's go ahead and make this I want to put a slide here I think this doesn't need to be grunged because I did everything in black but I did already bring out some of the little um, where did I put them let's put this away gives me anxiety to have so many things on my desk because and then here they are I can't find anything and it gets my nerves okay so let's see which which person do we want to use ooh I kind of like her right I feel like she would be good for this <laughs> I like it okay I'm taking out the big scissors for this because it's easier with just one cut. So let's see. I think that's good. Lower her down just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna go around the edges here. And then let's move this and I'm going to put this here so that I can kind of position my little film thing right where I need it. And then we'll just add glue to the back. Now, this is definitely a longer project, so I hope you're comfy. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is probably just going to glue half. Come on. Don't need to poke it again. Yeah, got to poke it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. Making sure that she's straight. Can't really tell when it's far away from my face. But yeah, that looks okay. So there's that. And then we're going to go in again with another one of these. And so we want the white on here and keep the clear on here. So let's do that. Let's put the white here. Come on getting stuck to my finger and then we'll put the clear just attach it so that it goes exactly where you need it to on the opposite side and to press down and there it is cute right there is your closure now let's do something fun on this side. That is where I do a bigger picture. So let's find, there was this one, yeah. I like her, or her. She's a good one too. Let's see which one. I kinda like her because 
the color. Well, this one works out too, though. Let's see. If we could do something simple and just add one of these big ones on here. Kind of like that, right? So let's just go ahead and glue her down. Put her semi in the middle. Make sure that she's kind of straight. I moved her around a little bit. No, she's still okay. Okay. And now this, if you can tell, but it's got like these little, um, let me see. Can you see it looks like it's kind of got like little scratches little, little white scratches on it which is very cool but i think we're gonna do it this way even though it's supposed to be like this but i still like the way this looks so we're gonna put it that way so let's go ahead and position this to where i can get a better view of how the sticker needs to go on here but i think like this is okay And then I will go around with my little scoring tool and make sure that all of the edges get pressed down. Ooh, doesn't that look cool? It has a little bit of a bubble in there. Um, I think I'm going to need to get like a like a card, like a scraper thing. Oh wait, I have one. I forgot I have my little scraper tool. Let's see if I can scrape this little bubble out. Ooh, did you hear it? It popped. Very cool. Yep, got it out. Very neat. Look at how cool that looks, right? Okay took care of that and then let's do little things here so let's see which little pictures we want on here um, let's see I always like to do kind of like a like a couple uh, I've got two women on the inside let's do them right they look very dapper let's do should we do the slides yeah we'll do these so let's fold these up let's move these out of the way Crease those down. Let's get the other one. Where did it go? Where did I put the other? Oh, here it is. I was going to say. Okay. Let's get the little pokey tool out and poke out these little holes here. They're just on the one side. Yeah, those are out. Okay, let's figure out this. I kind of like that he's off to the side, right? Actually, I don't need to cut any more. This one is already ready to go. I'm just going to kind of darken up the sides so that they don't look so white. But this one's ready. This one's short enough to go in. My daughter should be home soon, so I'm going to have to unlock the door so that she's not ringing and ringing the doorbell. And 
case you hear her barge in. She doesn't know that I'm filming. <laughs> she's going to see me and then she's going to she's going to have a face like, "Oops, sorry, mom." I tried to get this done before she came home, but that's okay. All right, very good. I like it, okay. Now let's see this guy. Do I need to cut? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to cut him down because he's too low. I need to cut down the bottom. We'll do just a tiny bit. Oh no, what am I doing? No, I needed to cut the top. We don't want the top to show. So he's gonna have to be like this. So more off the top, keep going. Now, now we're good. Okay, so again, just inking the sides here. And I think all I'm going to do, no, I'm going to ink the, I'm going to glue the sides here so that I can position him here first. So let me put him a little bit closer to me so that I know what I'm doing. I might get a little bit of glue on my table, but that's okay. Clean it up in a minute. Yep. I keep looking outside to see if she's coming yet. Let me just go ahead and unlock the door. Hold on. So sorry. Now let's just go ahead and glue this shut. Close this off. And I think I want to put eyelets. I like the way the eyelets look on here. Don't they look cool? So let's use our eyelets. Ooh, we have the fun ones. Let's see. What colors can we use? Should we use maybe like, um, I kind of have like this plum color. Or, well, these are black. Should we do like a pop of color? There is a little bit of, let me see. Should we do maybe red? Let me see, do I have red? I think I do. Let's do like a burgundy red. Like this one. These are the ones that I thrifted. I thrifted all of, not thrifted, but through a garage sale. I, I scored, I really did. But let's do these. Someone said, now I think you're gonna be making a lot of, um, a lot of uh, projects with eyelets. You better believe it. I love eyelets. <laughs> you know me too well. I love eyelets. I think the hardware on anything gives it such a cool look. So let's just do all of them at the same time. Come on. Can't see where I'm punching. Okay. 
Now, let's get some of these out. Yeah, I think a little bit of the red would be kind of cool, right? Yeah. So let's just close all of these off. Very easy peasy. But it gives it such a cool look, doesn't it? A little pop of red. I'm kind of going by the red that's on here. See that little arrow there? <laughs> that just brought out more red. So there you have it. Oh, I took out exactly eight. Very good. Okay last one and then i am going to make these into little pockets i probably won't put anything in them just because you kind of saw how i did the other one last two And last one. There. Now, let me put these here. Oh, I got a little bit of glue on his face. Go like this. I think I like this better. Okay. Come on. So I'm just going to put them right in between. And then put this about, let's say, here. Yeah, I like that pop of red. I feel like it, it kind of gives it something, right? Okay, and then we'll do the same. Here. Put this one more on the bottom. Make sure he's a little straight. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I like it a lot. All right, so there's those. There's that. Let's add whatever we're gonna add here on the back, which is this. So let's see, do we add more of our little photo things? Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Yeah. So let's add this. We're gonna add two more slides because this is all about the photos here. So let's do her. So let's come off just a tiny bit off the sides. See if that helped. Yeah, that's right on the money, man. All right. Let me, let me do it this way. And then add this goes this way add this like this now if you're not going to make them into pockets these I mean you can add like little tickets or something on the inside but if you're not then you really don't need the backing I did it just in case because I wasn't sure what I was going to do but I'm not I'm not going to make them into pockets. 
So let's just glue this directly down. So let's put this one higher up here, kind of in the middle. Make it a little bit straight. And then I think we'll use him. Do I want to use him? Do I want to use him? You know what? He's got a little bit of the red. See that? There it is. We're using him. Right? There it is. Okay. He's got a little bit of red in his bow tie. So, again, it ties it all together. Some people might not even notice, <laughs> but, you know, it's the little things. That others might not notice, but you will. So... Now we can go ahead and just glue this directly on. And we're going to put this a little bit lower because of the little belt closure that we're doing. Very cool. Now see, we can use like little number strips. To put there. These are, this one might be cool. I wonder if I can kind of Put this down a little bit and see if that still fits. It does. Okay, let's do that one. So his address is 317 Main Street. I'm going to need my my tweezers for this. this here yeah it definitely needed something they're too plain okay and then let's see what else we can put this figure that fits so we'll put this figure here Very good. We need two more for this side. What do they say? It's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, let's see what else. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool if we had a part one and part two? Let's see. Copyright. <gasps> this has red. <laughs> let's add red to hers. here and then let's see what else number five five eight that looks cute doesn't it um, this could be the size of the picture or something right I think I like that one better. Let's do that. I 
I feel like this could be like a little photography folio, right? Very cute. I like it. And then just adding the finishing touches. I told you this one was going to be a long one. So let's add maybe some of this to the bottoms here. Maybe frame it. Yeah, let's frame it. she's coming in. Does this fit? Yeah. And I think we'll just frame this and I think that'll be cute. Maybe put like a little label or something here on the bottom, right? So let's see. Should we make it exactly? I'm going to cut it here. Okay. So let's do this here. Does this one go here? I think so. I'm trying to see where I need to cut it. I think it's right in the middle of this one. If I can find like a little red ticket, I think I have one to put right there just to kind of tie in a little bit of the red. see is this about right yeah okay now these I kind of like that it overlaps here okay let me just cut this straight and then whatever overlaps I can just cut it off from the back of the paper come on What's happening? There it is. So we'll do this. Is it about here? And then out this way. Do this here, the edge. Uh, there. Cute. Yep, I like it. Let's just add this here. Let me remove this part here this way and gotta take this little sticker off my finger I need a little a little red tag um, no it needs to be Is this it? Oh, but this says circus. I don't want circus on it. I have stamps. Oh, I have this. Mm. I think there was something in here. Let me see if I find it 
real quick. It was like a little, um, like a ticket or something. Come on, quickly, quickly. No, nothing. Should we just put G H G H I K J K? Uh, nope. Darn it. I wonder what I knew I had one. something that just kind of looks weird I do have let's see my labels let's just add that and then maybe let's scrunch it up a little bit Use like a date stamp or something. I'm sure I have something. Or a number. A number stamp. So let's put this here. And then let's get a number stamp. We're going to bust out the eccentric because we always do, right? Let's see. This one, does this one fit? Yep, that one fits. So let's do that one. And then I think we're gonna call it a day. Perfect. So, and then we have our little belt. Okay, so if you want to see how I do the belt, let me know and maybe I'll make like a small, a small video on how I did the belt. But look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Oh, darn it. It came off. I yanked it too much. Luckily, I have my glue gun. So let's put this back on. There. All done get that string of glue off oh it keeps coming there it is so there it is an hour 20 minutes <laughs> but it's cute isn't it I love it so there's that and then if you want to glue that on you can then here's this then we have our little little guy there then we have our little pockets. And in this one, I did these. Now these I just cut out to size. I used my one inch punch and then made a little tab. And then you can add those in here. See that? Isn't that cute? And then I just stamped it. And then we open it here. We have our lovely lady, our serious one. <laughs> and then we open that up and we have our little notepad, pockets, and there it is, guys. I love it. These are so much fun. I'll probably be making more, 
but this is it guys thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe share all that jazz let me know if you want me to make the belt it's pretty self-explanatory i just kind of put a hole just to keep this from going everywhere and i put an eyelet in just making sure that you keep enough space and then i made this little loop thing i use that with my glue gun and then just measuring out all i did was um put this around and I put this in through here like if I was going to actually buckle it up already and I made a little I poked a little hole with my pokey tool exactly where I needed it and that's where I did the the hole with the eyelet and there it is so if I get enough requests for it then I'll do it Otherwise, there it is. Quick explanation. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, um, have a great weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Uh, I might have a few things to share. Otherwise, I'll see you for Tag Tuesday. I have some really fun tags that I want to try out. So we'll do that together. And okay, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Bye.